OnePlus Nor, best premium experience. Every time OnePlus released a new device, it was heralded as the best value phone yet. At least that was the case until the OnePlus 8 tried, and failed, to move away from the brand's budget roots. Thankfully the OnePlus Nor is a welcome return to what defined the company's success all these years. And at this price, it's essentially a flawless phone. There were corners to be cut in order to achieve a lower price, it costs half the price of the OnePlus 8 at the time of its launch, but for the most part, these cuts do not affect the bottom line. The screen is now flat, rather than curved, and there is no official IP rating. But for the rest, the OnePlus Nor is a far better phone than flagship devices costing hundreds of dollars more. This is a premium-looking smartphone, equipped with six cameras, and with one of the latest 5G-enabled chipsets, the Qualcomm Snapdragon 765G. In addition, Oxygen OS is one of the best, if not the best, Android software skin out there. This way, the OnePlus Nor competes against the Pixel 4a and the iPhone SE 2020 for the mid-range crown, it impresses with its design and ease of use, has stellar hardware specifications, an excellent 90Hz display, and a versatile camera module. It offers thus the most comprehensive package of the three. Google Pixel 4a, Best Android Experience If you're searching for the best mid-range Android smartphone, then you have to check out the Pixel 4a. It's a truly fabulous device, at an incredibly affordable price. It uses the same rear camera and image processing technology as the flagship Pixel 4, so you'll get a very similar experience for photos and videos. In fact, its photos are indistinguishable from those taken with the Pixel 4. The only thing missing is the secondary telephoto lens of the Pixel 4, but this omission is justified by its much lower price. In addition to the excellent camera, the Pixel 4a comes equipped with a Qualcomm Snapdragon 730G processor and 6GB of RAM, it doesn't have the same performance as a flagship device, but it's no slouch either. Google also doubled its internal memory with respect to its predecessor, the Pixel 3a. It also fitted it with a headphone jack and a fingerprint sensor. This time around there's only one variant, there's no XL version, that uses a fantastic 5.8-inch Full HD plus OLED display. The only reason for you to gloss over it, is if you have to have a 5G model, or a display with a higher refresh rate, like the ones we find on the OnePlus Nor and Realme 6. Otherwise, the Pixel 4a is a charming phone, with a compact design, smooth performance, excellent cameras, good battery life, easy-to-use software, and at least three years of guaranteed Android updates. Google Pixel 3a, a valid alternative. The Google Pixel 3a isn't the best mid-range phone, there are better smartphones at this price. It is aimed at those who want Google's design, and Android stock experience, at a cheaper price. But the real goodie here is the camera. While there are smartphones with more megapixels out there, unless you pay much more, you won't get better shots. As a result, the Google Pixel 3a takes the best photos of any mid-range phone, and even of many others that cost much more. The screen of the Pixel 3a is superb too. It is an OLED panel with bright colors, excellent viewing angles, and no notch. On the software side, the stock Android experience, and timely updates for at least three years, have long been one of the best reasons to buy a Google device. Samsung Galaxy A52 5G, best mid-range phone for most people. The Samsung Galaxy A52 5G is one of the cheapest options on this list, and it's a great choice if you want to save some money but without sacrificing too many features. Perhaps its most impressive feature is its design you might be honestly fooled into thinking that this is a high-end phone. What sets it apart though is the 6.5-inch OLED display with a 120Hz refresh rate for smoother scrolling and more responsive gaming. It is also a quality panel all around. OLED technology delivers ink deep blacks and vibrant colors, while its 1080p resolution is more than enough. It doesn't support HDR, but the screen is bright enough to watch Netflix. Inside, we find the Qualcomm Snapdragon 750G chipset, combined with 6 or 8 gigabytes of RAM. Add to all this 128 or 256 gigabytes of internal memory, and an expansion slot, and there's really little to complain about. Another impressive feature is its battery life, which will easily last you a whole day. On the back, you'll find a good 64 megapixel main camera with optical image stabilization, and two less impressive secondary lenses, 
plus a solid 32 megapixel selfie camera. If you're a Samsung fan, or just want a reliable and impressive smartphone that doesn't cost too much, then the Galaxy A52 5G might be the perfect phone for you. Samsung Galaxy M51, a valid alternative. The Samsung Galaxy M51 is Samsung's latest mid-range device, and comes with a huge 7000 mAh battery, with a 25 watts fast charge support, and reverse charging via the USB Type-C port. It also boasts the excellent 6.7-inch Super AMOLED Plus display with Full HD Plus resolution and a 20 to 9 aspect ratio. And although up until now Samsung always used its own processors to power its mid-range devices, the Galaxy M51 sports the snappier Qualcomm Snapdragon 730G chipset, paired with 6 or 8 GB of RAM and 128 GB of storage. We were also very impressed with the cameras. This smartphone features a quad camera module on the back, boasting a 64 megapixel main camera, a 12 megapixel ultra wide lens, a 5 megapixel macro lens, and a 5 megapixel depth sensor, plus a 32 megapixel selfie camera. While there are better phones on our list, this mix of specs makes the Samsung Galaxy M51 a great choice for someone looking for solid performance, a good camera, and exceptional autonomy. Apple iPhone SE 2020 best cheap iPhone. The new iPhone SE offers undeniably the best value for money of all iPhones. It's a phone dedicated to function over shape, prioritizing raw performance over design or aesthetics. Unlike most Android phones in this price range that rely on mid-range processors, the new SE uses the world's fastest processor, the same A13 Bionic we find in 11 series iPhones. In addition, the SE 2020 offers the same excellent iOS experience, and is equipped with features such as Wi-Fi 6, wireless charging, and waterproofing. It's also your only real choice if you prefer more compact phones, its small 4.7-inch screen is perfect for one-handed use. If you want a reliable camera, super-fast performance, and guaranteed iOS updates, without spending an arm and a leg, then this is the iPhone for you. OnePlus 8T, Best Flagship Killer If all you're interested in is the spec list, OnePlus devices should always be at the top of your list. Over the years, OnePlus phones gained the moniker of flagship killers, and the 8T is undoubtedly the best one so far. It costs a bit more than the Nord, but it inherits the stunning 6.55-inch AMOLED display from the OnePlus 8 Pro, which offers a refresh rate of 120Hz, which is not afflicted by the occasional stuttering or the weird scrolling we saw on previous models as well as the high-end Qualcomm Snapdragon 865 chipset, up to 12GB of RAM, and up to 256GB of storage space. The rear camera module consists of a 48-megapixel main sensor with optical image stabilization, while the 4500mAh battery offers a 24-hour battery life and a 65 watts super-fast charging. At launch, these improvements were difficult to justify, but now that the 8T has fallen in price, it makes much more sense for users who can afford to pay more than the Nord. All in all, the OnePlus 8T is a very attractive proposal, and it would have been our top pick if it took better pictures. Its photos unfortunately, aren't as good as the ones you'll get from the Pixel 4a, thus if photography is your priority, grab the Google device instead. That being said, what makes this phone almost irresistible is the fact that it costs half of most high-end models while still offering very similar features. For less than $500, you can't really do much better. OnePlus 7T, Valid Alternative If all you care about is the phone spec sheet, then the OnePlus 7T should be at the top of your list. It features a Snapdragon 855 chipset, 8GB of RAM, and 128GB of internal memory. You also get a stunning 6.55-inch 90Hz AMOLED display, and a 48 megapixel camera with optical image stabilization. The battery typically lasts for more than a day, and the supplied fast charger takes it from 0 to 60% in half an hour. Finally, the operating system called Oxygen OS is lauded as providing the best user experience. Had the company also kept the headphone jack, the OnePlus 7T would have earned the title of best mid range phone. Samsung Galaxy A51. The best Android phone under $300. Samsung's A series phones allow the South Korean giant to experiment with features before inserting them into the next flagship. 
that means that these devices offer a top-of-the-line experience at a fraction of the cost. The Galaxy A51 has a sleek, eye-catching design, and a premium finish, but it doesn't stop there. The 6.5-inch AMOLED display, with a crisp resolution, great colors and contrast, is a joy to look at. Its four-lens rear camera module, offers you great versatility and solid results. Autonomy is great too. The Galaxy A51 will easily last you a full working day. If you want an impressive phone that doesn't cost much, then the Galaxy A51 is a best buy. Samsung Galaxy M31, a cheaper alternative. If you don't have the budget for the Samsung Galaxy A51, then we recommend the Galaxy M31, which is for all intents and purposes Samsung's budget alternative to the A51. Although this means that Samsung had to cut some corners in some areas, such as design and build quality. In fact, the glossy polycarbonate back and the plastic frame don't look sturdy enough, and don't give a good feel in your hand. Similarly, despite having a 6.4-inch Super AMOLED display with Full HD resolution, Samsung did not equip the M31 with an in-display fingerprint sensor. That said, its camera is comparable to that of the A51. It features a 48-megapixel primary lens that beats any other main camera at this price range, except for the 64-megapixel one in the A51. The Galaxy M31 uses the same Samsung Exynos 9611 chipset, so in terms of performance, both devices are on par. Where the M31 beats the A51 is in battery life. This device sports a huge 6000 mAh battery which grants it with exceptional autonomy. On the downside, it takes longer to recharge, since it only supports 15 watts fast charging. Realme 6, Best Midrange All-Rounder Realme 6 is one of this year's most innovative midrange phones, and its 6.5-inch display with a 90Hz refresh rate is not the only reason. It is also equipped with the MediaTek Helio G90T processor, which is very capable especially in games, runs a clean Android skin, its 4,300 mAh battery has an excellent autonomy and supports 30 watts fast charging, while its quad camera module offers plenty of versatility and shoots quality photos even at night. Its plastic built isn't that great, but you can't ask for more from a phone that costs so little. It still offers a Gorilla Glass 3 screen protection and a P2I water repellent coating. All in all, the Realme 6 offers the best value for money of all Android smartphones at the moment. Xiaomi Redmi Note 9 Pro, best bang for your buck. The Xiaomi Redmi Note 9 Pro is one of the best deals you can find today and deserves serious consideration. The design isn't spectacular, but it's not ugly either. It features a large 6.67-inch screen with HDR10 support, a mid-range Qualcomm Snapdragon 720G processor, optimized for games, a quad-camera module based on Samsung's outstanding 64-megapixel sensor, and, the icing on the cake, a massive 5,020 mAh battery, that will easily last for more than a day. The only real threat to the Redmi Note 9 Pro, is the cheaper Realm 6 and its 90Hz display. Xiaomi Mi 9T Pro, our favorite, the Mi 9T Pro looks almost too good to be true. With this model, Xiaomi rivals the Honor 20 and the OnePlus 7T, offering flagship specs, and a sleek design, at a mid-range price. Unlike the competition, the Mi 9T Pro also sports a headphone jack, not to mention a Super AMOLED Full HD Plus display, with no notch or punch hole. This phone is better than any other device at a similar price. The performance is excellent. The Snapdragon 855 aided by 6GB of RAM allows this phone to run any app or game. Xiaomi's MIUI software needs an overhaul, the camera performance in low light is not exactly brilliant, and it doesn't have an IP rating, but otherwise, this device offers the very best performance to price ratio compared to any other smartphone.